Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install a Game Boy Advance emulator onto your R4 flashcard and then run Game Boy Advance ROMs that you downloaded from the internet. So this works on Nintendo DS Lite, Nintendo DSi and 3DS or 2DS. So what you want to do is you want to go to the first link in the description. This is the emulator itself. It's the latest version. So what you want to do is just hit download. Once you've downloaded the emulator, what you want to do next is get some ROMs. So I'd probably recommend ROM Hustler, it's probably the best um, ROM website out there right now. Um, just go to the Game Boy Advance section, um, and now you can just choose um, pretty much any of these ROMs you want to. Right guys, so once you've downloaded your ROMs and you've got your emulator, you want to head over to your downloads folder. Here you can find um, the ROM I downloaded and my emulator here. So what you want to do first is go to your ROM, right click, just go to properties. What you want to do is you want to change the file extension from GBA to .mb. So just backspace on that and enter MB. Then you just want to hit OK. So it says are you sure you want to change it, click yes. Right, so what you want to do next is you want to make like a Game Boy Advance ROMs folder on your R4 card. So mine's plugged into my PC. What I'm going to do just on the root of my R4, I'm going to do new folder, um, all capitals, I'm just going to call it GBA for Game Boy Advance. Now I'm just going to copy my um, ROM into that folder. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, you just want to do right click and then extract to. And then all of these files, you're just going to drag onto your R4 card. Okay, so that's everything on here now. Now what you want to do is just disconnect your SD card from your PC, put it back into your R4, and see if it works. Right guys, so once your R4 is in your 3DS, all you want to do is just launch it up. Once you're on your home screen, you want to scroll down until you find this thing. It's called hbmenu.nds. Um, you want to just press A on that. Then it's going to come up with this page. From here, you want to select your ROM. So go down, press A on the GBA folder. Then find your game, so I've got PokemonFireRed.mb, you want to press A on that. Then you just want to hit the top one, um, use as GBA file star MU. Then you just want to press A again. On this part here, you want to scroll down, and where it says save type flash 128KB, right at the bottom, you want to press A on that. Then you just want to press A again, press A again, keep on pressing A. Then you just want to press A on the top one. And then the emulation is just going to start. Right guys, so I'll just show you some quick gameplay. It seems to run okay. Sometimes there's like a small text glitch as you can see on the right hand side of the screen. Um, nothing too bad to worry about. The sound seems to work okay as well. Um, you can't really complain considering this is off an R4 card, so obviously the real Game Boy Advance game is going to be 100 times better, the CIA version is going to be 100 times better, but if you have an R4 card and maybe a DS Lite only and want to play Game Boy Advance games, then this is a really good option to do it. Right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.